Ang lesson natin ngayon is all about solving rational inequalities. Bago tayo magsimula, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. What you need to know? Pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-solve ng rational inequalities. To solve the rational inequalities, gagamit tayo ng case method. Susundin lang natin ang mga steps na ito. Una, place all non-zero terms of the inequality on the left side. Padalawa, simplify the expression using a common denominator. Patatlo, use the following properties to find the solution. So, A, if A over B is greater than 0, then the following are possible. Ang case 1, A is greater than 0 and B is greater than 0. Ang case 2 naman, A is less than 0 and B is less than 0. Kapag naman ang given natin is less than 0, then the following are possible. Case 1, A is greater than 0 and B is less than 0. Case 2, A is less than 0 and B is greater than 0. Huwag natin kalimutan na meron tayong iba pang inequality symbol. So, yung greater than, pwedeng greater than or equal. Ang less than, pwede ding less than or equal. First example natin, find the solution to the inequality x plus 3 over x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So, solution. So, take note, sabi natin kanina, if a over b is greater than or greater than or equal to 0, then the following are possible. Ito yung case 1 at case 2 natin. Ang case 1 natin, ito yung A, yung numerator natin, at ito naman yung B, yung denominator natin. So, tinranspose natin ang 3 to the other side of the inequality, kaya siya naging negative. Sunod, find the common solution. Get the intersection of the sets. Kung gagamit tayo ng number line, Madali nating malalaman kung ano ba yung mga values ng x na greater than or equal to negative 3 at greater than or equal to positive 1. So, hahanapin natin ang intersection na yun. So, simula, negative 3. So, included ang negative 3. Ano ba yung mga greater than sa negative 3? So, ibig sabihin, lahat na ito ay greater than lahat na yan simula negative 3 papunta dito at ang x naman x na greater than or equal to positive 1 included ang positive 1 lahat ng values na papunta dito ay solution so, sabi kanina, get the intersection of these sets. So, ano yung mga values na meron sila parehas? At papunta dito. So, lahat ng values na yon ay included sa solution set. So, ang solution of case 1, x is greater than or equal to positive 1. For case 2, a is less than 0 and B is less than 0. So, yun ang gagawin natin. Nalilito yung mga estudyante kasi palaging kinokopya lang nila kung ano yung inequality symbol na nakikita nila sa given. So, hindi. Ang susundin natin ay yung case method. Itong formula natin. So, tinranspose ang positive 3 kaya naging negative. Tinranspose ang negative 1 kaya naging positive. 
So kukunin natin ang common solution and get the intersection of these sets. Ano naman yung mga values ng x na less than or equal sa negative 3? Ang less than naman sa negative 3, simula dito, papunta dito. Lahat ng values ng x ay kasama sa solution set. Ano naman ang values ng x na less than or equal sa positive 1? So, simula dito sa positive 1, papunta dito. Lahat yun ay kasama sa solution set. So, alin naman ang intersection ng solution sets nila? So, ibig sabihin, simula negative 3, papunta dito, ayun ang common sa kanilang dalawa. Kaya, ang solution of case 2, x is less than or equal to negative 3. Get the union of the solutions found in both cases. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang ating solution set is x greater than 1. Samantalang ang nasolve natin kanina is x greater than or equal to 1. Bakit nawala yung equal? Dahil kapag sinubstitute natin ang value ng x which is equal to 1 sa denominator ng ating given, siya ay magiging 0. So kung ito'y 1, so magiging 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So magiging mali ang ating sagot. Kaya instead o sa halip na gamitin natin ang x is greater than or equal to 1, Ang tamang sagot is x greater than 1 lamang. Then, x less than or equal to negative 3. So, ito yung ating solution set. Take note, ang ibig sabihin ng union ay or. So, set of x greater than 1 or set of x less than or equal to negative 3. So, using interval notation, so ito yung ating magiging sagot. At ito yung ating mas malinaw na graph. Next example. Find the solution to the inequality 4x minus 9 over 2x minus 4 is less than or equal to 1 half or 1 over 2. Kaya, magiging 4x minus 9 over 2x minus 4 minus 1 over 2. Kasi tinranspose natin ang 1 half sa other side ng inequality. Magiging 4x minus 9 minus the quantity of x minus 2 all over 2x minus 4 less than or equal to 0. So, isisimplify natin to So, kung may tanong kayo, Kung papaano naging ganito. So, may mga video akong pinos dito sa aking YouTube channel. So, i-review nyo na lang. Then, we have 3x minus 7 over 2x minus 4 is less than or equal to 0. So, papaano nangyari yun? Sinimplify natin ito. We have 4x minus x, so 3x, negative 9, minus negative 2. So, magiging negative 9 plus 2, kaya naging negative 7. Then, copy the denominator, which is 2x minus 4. So, for this case, sabi natin kanina, if a over b is less than 0 or less than or equal to 0, then the following cases are possible. So, focus muna tayo sa case 1. Sa case 1, 3x minus 7 
is greater than or equal to 0. Ito yung ating numerator, value ng a. At ang denominator natin na value ng b is 2x minus 4 less than or equal to 0. Ito ay galing sa ating case 1. Then, transpose 7. Then, divide both sides of the inequality by 3. Kaya ito ay naging positive 7. Then, din divide both sides by 3. Kaya naging 7 over 3. Sa kabila naman, negative 4, tinranspose sa other side of the inequality. Naging positive 4. Then, din divide both sides by positive 2. Yung numerical coefficient ng x. Kaya magiging 4 divided by 2 is positive 2. Then, kukuhanin natin ang values ng x which is greater than or equal to 7 over 3 at ang values ng x which is less than or equal to positive 2. So, titingnan natin kung meron silang intersection. So, ang 7 over 3 is 2.33. So, let's say ito yung ating 7 over 3. So, included ang 7 over 3. Papunta dito ang kanyang, ang kanyang values ng x. Ang x is less than or equal to 2. Included si 2. Papunta naman dito ang kanyang values. So, kung mapapansin natin, walang intersection ang dalawa. Dahil walang intersection ang dalawang nakuha nating values, so ang solution of case 1 is no solution. Next, for case 2. So, for case 2, gagamitin natin ang formula na... Ito, A is less than 0 and B is greater than 0. So, magiging 3x minus 7 yung ating A, numerator, is less than or equal to 0, and 2x minus 4 yung ating denominator, greater than or equal to 0. So, it, dito tayo magpo-focus sa case 2. Yung iba nagkakamali, ginagamit palagi yung inequality symbol doon sa given which is maling mali then transpose negative 7 to the other side of the inequality then change the sign kaya naging 7 then i-isolate natin ng x or ibukod so i-divide natin both side by positive 3 so kaya ito ay naging 7 over 3 dito naman sa kabila ganun din Yung negative 4, tinranspose, naging positive 4. Then, di divide both side by the numerical coefficient, which is 2, to isolate the variable x. Kaya, naging positive 4 divided by 2 is positive 2. So, gamit ang ating number line, tingnan natin kung may intersection ang values nila. So, ito yung ating 7 over 3. Ano ba yung mga values na less than or equal? So, ibig sabihin ito ay included. Ang less than sa 2.33 ay ito. So, dito naman sa kabila, ang greater than or equal to positive 2 ay simula positive 2 papunta naman dito. So, kung mapapansin natin, may intersection ang dalawa. So, simula positive 2 hanggang 2.33 o sa 7 over 3. So, ito yung magiging solution natin. Yung values na yan. Solution of case 2. 2 is less than or equal to x. Less than or equal to 7 over 3. Get the union of the solutions found in both cases. So, dahil ang case 1, no solution. So, mag-focus tayo sa case 2. So, ang ating sagot, 2 less than x, less than or equal to 7 over 3. 
So, wala na uli itong equal. Dahil pag sinubstitute natin, ang value na 2 sa ating denominator, mag equate uli siya sa 0. Kasi 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So, magiging mali. Is 2 less than. So, disregard natin yung equal sign. Less than x. Less than or equal to 7 over 3. So, using interval notation, so ito yung ating magiging sagot. At ito yung ating graph. So, sa graph natin, kitang-kita na hindi included sa solution ang positive 2. Ang next topic natin is all about solving problems involving rational functions. So, thanks and God bless.